Welcome to Channel Alert Results, where we play a different deck list every video. I'm Country Pride, and today we're going to be playing a five color gain and drain clerics themed combo ish. I don't know what this mess was, but it came from one of our viewers and one of our uh, frequents the stream and plays with us on live uh, challenges as well. So, to Billy, thank you for giving us this list to uh, take a look at it. Man, I switched it up a little bit just to kind of smooth out the lands and stuff, but we'll take a look at the deck list, brother. I truly appreciate it, bro. So here you go. Here's this monstrosity that Billy built. And if you guys don't know Billy, I love Billy to death, man. But he builds some of the most painfully brutal decks to ever play against. Dude. I'm, I'm pretty sure that when he builds a deck list, all he wants to capitalize on is misery. So with that said, man, and I do mean that in the most honorable way possible. Uh, Billy is a great deck builder, man. He brings it. We, we do. We love seeing him on the live stream just to see what kind of crazy crap he built up. So let's take a look at this real quick. And I'll kind of explain some of the changes or the changes that I did uh, and why I did it. And then uh, we'll go ahead and bounce to the gameplay, stick around to the outro, and we'll definitely talk some more. But uh, we got the uh, three of Chaplain's of Alms. It's first strike. It's got a ward of one. It's a one one. It's got a disturb cost of four, so you can cast it back from the graveyard. And then it's got flying first strike. And each creature you control has a ward one cost. And then it becomes a two one. We have Lunar Veteran, which is gaining a slide for creatures entering the board for one drop as well. It's a 1-1, one, one, and then it's got a Disturb cost of 2, and it comes back as a Flyer 1-1, one, one, and then whenever a creature you own dies, then uh, you gain a life off of that as well. So you see the clerics and kind of the life gain thing going on here. We've also got Phyrexian Missionary, which is a two cost. You can cast it for its four, which does come in uh, handy with the uh, with the combo centric style of this deck list. You're definitely going to have to use that kicker cost sometimes, but it is two three with uh, life link. And if you got to get it on the board, then you do. But more often than not, you want to use it for its kicker cost because you're trying to bring back Shadow Right Priest because of what it does. But we'll definitely get to that. Now, some of the changes that I made. I dropped uh, Timeless Lotus down from three to two and for actually missionary from uh three to two and i believe i dropped sadistic pilgrim from four to three which may have wrecked the deck so if you do want to take it back put uh, sadistic pilgrim back to four put missionary to three and put timeless lotus to three and take out the three spirited companions the one thing that i was finding though is we were falling short on card draw so i wanted some card draw so i put in the uh, spirited companion in here and it worked out pretty good with the deck list uh, when i played it but uh, if you're really wanting to focus on the combo side of this deck list you'll definitely want to go back to three three and four um you got voice of the blessed in here is a three of it's a two two for uh two white it's a cleric as well and then whenever you gain life you put a plus one plus one counter on it as long as it has four more plus one plus one counters on it it has flying and vigilance and then if it gets 10 or more it has indestructible as well so that's what your goal is to get it there but good luck because usually people are killing it quicker than you can keep it on the board to get to those many or that many counters you also have a little bit of spot removal on infernal grasp i'm thinking that you could possibly change this out to faithful absence or you could probably take this to two and find a way to take out the spirit of companions maybe take this to three this to three and then go to infernal grasp and two uh faithful absences as well and just take the uh spirit of companions out altogether. but maybe we'll talk about that more in the outro um, the uh, combo you're looking for, Shadow Right Priest. So not too many people are playing this card, but Billy played it on stream, and he loaned us the deck list. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it was just hilarious. So the Shadow Right Priest is a two-drop, one colorless, one black. It's two-two. Other clerics you get have plus one, plus one. And then for five, and you tap it, you sacrifice another cleric, and you search your library for a black creature card, and you put it onto the battlefield, and then you shuffle. Well, here's our black creatures that we're going to get. We have Xander, and we have Toxroll, and insanity ensues. The shenanigans will happen, and they do with this deck list. I didn't get it off, which I'll explain about that as well, but Billy did on stream. Um, we have Sadistic Pilgrim. If a creature comes into the field, you gain a life, and then, of course, if one of the creatures, uh, one of your creatures dies, your opponent loses a life, and it's got Death Touch, and it's a 2-2 with Orzhov colors of white and black. And the combo with the uh, life gain as well as Lunark Veteran work really well with Voice of the Blessed. So that's what you're kind of looking for there. Timeless Lotus is just kind of a mana ramp into the multiple colors going on within this deck, so you can get to your Kami Wars and eventually just 
start casting your tox roll or your xander if you have to if you're not pulling off the uh short combo of shadow right priest and this is our land build i mixed it up i'll put billy's original deck list in, uh, down in the description below as well so you have his land i may have messed these up but i it seemed to smooth out a lot better for me when i did this um he used a lot more basic lands so if you don't have the wild cards for this you'll definitely want to use his land list a lot more than you would mine so that's definitely something to take a look at but uh the combo is is to sack a uh, cleric to shadow right priest and get xander tox roll on the field for cheap so instead of for seven you're doing it for five and that is the combo however let me explain i did not get the combo off i played this deck like three hours i played a lot of games we did really well with this deck this deck is an aggro deck at heart and it was winning games left and right i did not get the combo off so one game you're going to see in here i lose to billy on the live stream i went back and clipped the recording so i could throw it in here so billy's game's in here and he does get the combo off he doesn't win with the combo though he wins with hard cast i'll let you guys watch the game though but he does get the combo off without within the game and uh, that is something that i wanted you to see but i also wanted you to see the gameplay i had going too because you don't need just the combo with this deck list it is an aggro cleric deck list so with that this deck list intro is really long i'm gonna let you guys get to the gameplay i'll see you guys at the outro with that stay safe be happy and healthy guys much love peace all right we go first this is not great we're gonna mulligan Better ish. Okay. Consider. Consider's good. Fading hope. Man, we're finally to the meta where we're gonna see the same five decks all the time. It's fine. Seriously get stuck on one land. That's a beautiful thing. Nice. Or block up, bro. <laughs> well goddamn all you need to do to win with this deck is get all these clerics and throw them on the board <laughs> not even what the deck's supposed to do but ggs aggro damn billy it just turned into an aggro deck ggs this month's patreon rewards feature some of the most impactful lotuses in magic's history check out all the details and sign up at patreon.com slash it resolves All right, we go first. Mm -hmm. Man, we really need to draw a swamp. Uh, I think we're gonna have to mulligan. Uh, mm, shit. Yeah, mulligan. Better. Uh, we'll keep. Keep six. We're going to put back the Swamp in the plane since we have it in Rafine's Tower and hope we draw into it. Wasn't expecting that. Was not expecting that. My cat just came in the office. She's going to go ballistic. I don't know why she's going to. So some type of Azorius control, Ledger Shredder, right on. Shh. 
Shred your ledger. Sure. would suck. Alright, so we got white, right? We need a swamp <laughs> and a plains, or a swamp and an island, or an island and a plains. Something like that. Ledger Shredder sucks. I mean, Ledger Shredder just sucks ass. Man. Card sucks so bad. Cool. Pop him off the field. Damn, we got lucky. Give me another, right, give me another swamp. Give me a swamp, give me a swamp. Give me a swamp. It's not a swamp. Okay, GG's. Billy, it's an aggro deck, man. <laughs> it's an aggro deck, dude. GG's. Um, uh, yeah, we'll keep. So if it says budget, guys, I've got no rares or mythics in here. That's all that is. What a budget should be, I guess. Except for the stained glass lands. Yeah, Thea, you should definitely get a second chance. Absolutely. Um, no. Billy playing clerics, man. Come on, Billy. Give me a little bit of breathing room, dude. Don't just keep going pressure, pressure, pressure. A little bit of breathing room, buddy. Nice. Thank you. I appreciate you. Oh, you got removal. Quick removal. Play with fire. Infernal grasp. Okay. <laughs> nice. He likes this card a lot. I gotta take a look at this card. So, oh, this is how he's gonna get Tox, tox Roll out early. Um, he needs a fifth land. So, we'll pass, no blocks, pass. Or removal. Fine. The further we go. Trucking down the rabbit hole. Don't get that land, man, because if it's Toxrill, dude, I'm going to be so mad. <laughs> I'm going to be so mad if you're hiding Toxrill in this thing. All right. I'm willing to do that. Oh, God, don't kill it. Okay. You got Tox real stacked in this thing somewhere, man. It's going to actually be funny and beautiful and sad for me all at the same time. Um, Did 
does not help right this second. But it will. Don't be Toxrel. God, please don't be Toxrel. Yeah, it's about right. Pretty sure that that's it. I don't have anything that removes that. Um, yeah, yeah, that's too big. Shit. What's that about top decking? Now, if he's got another tox roll, I'm dead as hell. <laughs> What's going on? Uh, nah. It's legendary. Nice. He's got another one. Well, that's why I had to go grab that dude off the damn board, man. God damn it. Oh. Oh, okay. So he is trying to go get it, too. I need... I needed an escape clause. <laughs> I needed an escape clause. <laughs> Come on, man. Give me the escape. So close yet so far away. All right. These things are all fair. Um, nah. So I think if it's over, it's probably over, right? Shit. Let's just let's go. Let's go. Oh my god. <laughs> really? Come on. Ugh. God. I got one more Valor stance in this deck. I need it now. Um...
I mean, it don't matter if we lose it now, as opposed to that. Probably should have blocked with both so he didn't get this. Oh, so close. So close. They're so far away. gotta touch the spirit realm so we got three of these in there we got one more valor stance we have to hit it on the next draw phase or we're dead we may be dead anyways oh yeah shit man okay billy came came up snake or i don't it wouldn't even be snake eyes he just rolled a hard seven nat 20 nat 20 billy's nat 20 Awesome. Cool. Let's do it. Do I got depopulate? Depopulate would be nice. No, just that damn thing. Danny, no problem, man. Um, let's see. I'm not seeing you loaded yet buddy so as soon as you get loaded up we'll be there uh hello <laughs> billy man i'm sorry bro i mean it's not like i can do much anyways we're both this close man let's go dude mill the hell out of my deck <laughs> let's go sure yeah toss it down okay come on Billy, it's all you, buddy. Cool. You just attack in, that'd be great, bud. Yeah. Awesome. GG's, buddy. GG's. Well, that was Value Town out the ass. Okay, that cleric in the tox rolls. <laughs> Alright, we go first. Yeah, we'll keep it, man. We're not getting this deck to do anything. Well, I mean, we don't have a planes. Ugh, we're gonna mulligan. Okay, we're gonna keep six. Okay. And I hate doing that. Hey, hello. We got a talker. Okay, so they're ramp tastic. They are ramp tastic. Okay, so since we're gonna do this anyways. Probably should have kept Xander Lounge to cycle it. What are they doing, just ramping into Titans?
Mm -hmm. Just ramping into big stuff, maybe. I mean, it's viable. That's good. I like that. Glory Sunrise is good. Yep. Definitely Let's go mountain Gonna be big. That read ahead, man. That read ahead sucks. doing the plus one plus one seems odd Infernal Grasp right now would be great. <laughs> Infernal Grasp would be wonderful. <laughs> Shit. Oh, that thing is big.
they're really just gonna try and top out here, huh? Okay. Do the plus one, plus ones, and tramples. All right. Pass. Not read really that. Bingo. Good game. Billy, it worked. We just hard cast Tox, Roland Xander. We didn't get to cheat him in. Yeah. GG's. They were a good sport about it, too. GG's. That was a good game, man. Good game. All right, guys. So there was a gameplay. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Yeah, man. Look, it's a lot of fun. It is an aggro deck, um, and it just happens to have a combo built into it. Um, I don't know that it really is, it's really viable on the lad ladder. It did really well. Um, for some reason, every time I load up Arena, it keeps throwing me in non-ladder or non-ranked games, and uh, I don't notice it till I'm like four or five in, and I don't see my rank moving, which is crazy because I had four or five wins with this deck list and could have been making rank on it. So then I took it on Platinum, and I would lose to win win two, uh, lose one, win two. Uh, so it's still viable on platinum, but I don't know that it's meta. So I don't know that it's got the percentage of wins that you would want on the uh, ladder climb, but it is a lot of fun to play. And it's definitely an option if you want something different than meta. Um, however, we're going to do that whip pan real quick, and I'm going to change up this deck list to what I think it should be and kind of a lot closer to where Billy had it. So real quick, choo -choo, sound effects. All right, guys, so going into this deck list, what I did is I took out the Spirited Companions. I put Timeless Lotus back up to three. I put the Missionary back up to three. And then I took Infernal Grass down to two, and I added two Faithful Absences in. So if you want the card draw, definitely put the Spirited Companions back in. Uh, you could just take the uh, Timeless Lotus down by one and the uh, Missionary down by one. If you wanted to, maybe Voice of the Bless, but I don't know. I like Voice of the Bless, especially if it pops off. But uh, you can mix and match however you want. And for the card draw you've got spirited companion you've also got uh reckoner bank buster which actually is probably more bang for your buck except you just got to pay for it each time you draw but you get three draws off of it whereas spirited companion you only get the one so it's definitely up to you deckless is going to be yours now billy again thank you for letting us take this out and take it for a spin man it was a lot of it was a lot of fun i'm
wanted to get the combo off because I love combos, but uh, I apologize, man. I just couldn't do it. So I showcased your game instead. Since it's your deck, it might as well have been you showing everybody the combo. So again, thank you so much. And I love the fact that it just ended up being a straight aggro deck and it held its own, man. So congrats to you for building a really solid list, brother. I appreciate it again. Guys, with that, we're going to wrap it up. Billy, thank you. I truly appreciate it. All of you, stay safe, be happy and healthy. We'll see you next time. Peace. Much love, guys. Have a great one.